Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is me, Sonia Elsie here. So for today's video, I wanted to just do a quick vegan grocery haul video. I literally haven't done one of these videos in so long and I remember I used to just do them like almost every time I went grocery shopping. So I thought that I would do one today. Um, today I went to the 99 cent store. I also went to Sprouts. And this whole haul cost me about $60 including tax, which I feel like is pretty reasonable and a lot of these things are just additions to things that I already have at home. So for example, I already have a lot of noodles at home, spices, I do have some fruit, some random frozen things. So mainly I was just stocking up actually to film some more videos. Um, I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day and I'm also going to be doing a recipe test video on vegan Rice Krispie treats because I have been craving Rice Krispie treats since I went vegan like I'm really upset that they're just not inherently vegan because <laughs> they're just really good. Sprouts is I am not sure I think that it's only in California I have not seen it anywhere else um, but I could be totally wrong so yeah in the 99 cent store I've seen it like pretty much across the whole United States. If you guys have not already checked out my vegan at the 99 cent store video, I would definitely recommend it. I put a lot of effort into it and I'm pretty sure it shows a good array of the options and I went back to the same one just like two weeks later. They've already added a bunch of new vegan stuff. They have new brands of vegan yogurt like it was lit, so definitely check out your 99 cent store. This is not sponsored by them. I really wish it was, but yeah, let's get started with the haul. So the 99 cent store haul was $24, which is so good. I'm always able to get a great deal there. And the Sprouts haul was $37 for like not even that much stuff. I'm a little bit upset about it, but I was like, you know, a lot of this stuff was for a YouTube video, so I'll be able to write it off of my taxes, so like, it's fine. So starting off with the 99 cent store, first I got this pepper stir fry. Um, so this is for a noodle stir fry that I'm going to be making. So yeah, it just has bell peppers, onions, and um, that's pretty much it. I also got, okay, so this does not look vegan. Like when you look at it, there's a freaking egg on it. Um, but basically what this is, is the ultimate mushroom omelet fixins. So it has um, mushrooms, potatoes, diced onion, and spinach, and it just has the veggies and stuff for an omelet. So there's no omelet in here. Product responsibly sourced from China. What? What? This is all the way from China. <laughs> okay, so next I got two of these vegetable pot stickers. I got these last time and they were so freaking good. Like, man, I just fried them, or not fried them, I boiled them. And they were super easy to make, so I got two of them. So I saw that these were vegan. Um, this is the cup noodle stir fry sweet chili flavor. I did see someone post about this on Twitter, and I literally read the ingredients like 10 times to make sure that they were vegan because I was like, damn. Uh, so this is awesome. The only thing is that they are more expensive than just like a regular cup of noodles. I know this is special because it's like the stir fry edition, but I'm waiting for the day that they make like a 40 cent cup of noodles that the vegans can also enjoy, you know, because I mean, it was only 99 cents, but still. So I got two things of the soy sauce flavor of ramen. So these ramens are vegan and then also the chili flavor is vegan as well. And uh, yeah, you know, it's chill. I like to cook it with stuff. <laughs> so I got this really big thing of strawberries. I believe these were a little bit more than 99 cents because there were so many of them. The 99 cent strawberries looked so dry and so sad. I was like, man, I really can't handle that. So I did get the big one. I think it was only like $1.99 or maybe $2.99. I'm not sure, but it, you know, it was definitely worth it for more strawberries and for them to look fresher and hopefully last longer. I got two avocados. I was really excited because these both seem like they're about to be ripe and they were towards the front of the store. They just had a bunch. I think they were trying to get rid of them because it was like not in the avocado section. So yeah, two of these. I really want to make some avocado toast with some salt. And like, mm. So next I got some sourdough bread. This is also a little bit more than 99 cents. It does say 
$1.99 amazing value, but I think that's pretty good for sourdough bread. This is super bomb. I got it last time and it was just so good, like with peanut butter, with avocado, like as a sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> my banana got squished. These bananas were on sale because they were about to be ripe, which is like a perfect, but I guess it did have a little accident on the way home. Um, but anyways, it's fine. So I currently don't have a car So I'm just carrying everything in my backpack and like on my arms And so there is room for accidents to happen when everything is just floating around in your backpack So yeah, but these were on sale There is a sale rack at the 99 cent store at least the one that I went to that had fruit that was kind of like about to Expire or be ripe and these look perfectly fine So I think these were only it said 25 cents per pound and this doesn't feel like that much more than a pound so so I got these two coconut waters this is the best brand of coconut water that you will ever have in your entire life unless you don't like sweet coconut water then you're not fun I'm just kidding but um, yeah this is so freaking bomb like it's really sweet it's too sweet you'll drink it and you'll be like this is too sweet but if you're someone like me who has a huge sweet tooth and just needs every beverage to be extremely sweet. So this is so good and I literally basically cried when I found out this was vegan. But basically this is a hot cocoa, a Mexican hot cocoa. And it's like a block of chocolate. You put it at the bottom of the pan, you add almond milk, or whatever milk you want, and it melts and it just so perfectly melts into the milk and it tastes so good and it has like the best cinnamon flavor and it's like it's so good so uh, really pumped about this because i've been craving hot chocolate for a while there's some that are okay but i don't know they're they're not so good you okay this is the can that like cut into the <laughs> Banana and there's like okay, that's gross, but um, I did get two coconut milks. They were out of the regular coconut milk So I had to get the light coconut milk, which is fine for cooking, but it's just not the same so Like it's fine, but I'm a little bit upset I'm gonna go wash this off really quick because this is gross. Okay, so next I did get a couple sauces This is the Kikkoman soy sauce and this is the Kikkoman teriyaki sauce. I love these little bottles too. Usually they sell them in huge bottles and it's just too big for me. So this is perfect. I feel like this is a cute restaurant size too. Um, but yeah, I mainly got this so I can make some stir fry. I'm really excited. Okay, so next I got some extra virgin olive oil, which is pretty much always vegan. I don't know why it would not be. And I really like this little bottle for it. Um, I also got peanut butter. So this was the 99 cent jar. There was a bigger jar that was, I think $2. Um, but you know, I already did have peanut butter at home, but I wanted to get one from the 99 cent store so that when I film my what I eat in a day via the 99 cent store, it's like all the stuff is from it, so. Yeah. Next, I got some tomato basil soup. This brand is super good and the soup was amazing. Um, there was another soup that I got in my 99 cent store video and it wasn't as good. It was pretty good, but this, this is what you're looking for. Okay, so next moving on to Sprouts. I didn't get a huge amount of things at Sprouts, so I'm like mad that it was so expensive, but it's fine. So basically, the first thing that I got is brown rice cereal. So this is, um, I guess, a vegan version of Rice Krispies, but it's brown rice. Yeah, I got this so I can make my video on doing a vegan Rice Krispie treat recipe. Next, I got these vegan marshmallows also for the recipe, and I think these are a big reason why the haul was so expensive, um, but yeah. Bitch, you already know. Got the Guardian Beefless Strips. Um, I don't... I have no words. These are so good, my favorite of all time. I will love these until the day I die. Um, yeah, Gardein just really gets it. This is this is their best vegan meat product. Like, their other stuff is pretty good, but this is like... <laughs> okay, so I also had to stock up on some vegan mayonnaise. All this, like, this specialty stuff, is pretty expensive like compared to just getting the basic vegan items but 
this is so good i can't eat a sandwich like without vegan mayonnaise in it otherwise it's just so dry i finally caved guys i got the just egg um made from plants not chickens <laughs> and basically i guess you just put this on a pan and it cooks i don't know but i'm really excited to try it because i have not ever tried this before so let me know maybe if you want a video on me trying the just egg for the first time last but not least i did have to stock up on some earth balance so got some of this i am almost out i think i just have a little bit left of the other one so yeah got some earth balance well anyways you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this haul hopefully it gave you some ideas and um just gave you an idea of what i like to eat and what you can eat as a vegan thank you guys so much for watching thank you for taking time out of your day to see what i was doing in mine if you are not already subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe give this video a like if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it let me know what you would like to see next and what you guys get at your grocery stores and i will talk to you guys in my next video okay love you guys bye